This is our soybean planter. It's a 1790 John Deere, uh, 32 row, uh, set up on 15 inch rows. Uh, this one is also, we've got the Dawn uh, row cleaners up front. As you can see, we're on 15 inch rows. Uh, when we go to 15 inch rows, I like to use, uh, just because this planter is strictly just a bean planter and it's strictly on 15 inch rows, every row I've got one single Dawn row cleaner. I don't use the double row cleaners and they're not floating. Uh, it's a fixed type that bolts to the front of the unit. It's adjusted by a cap on the top. I'll just spin it and it's got an Acme screw that'll suck it up and down. Um, the nice thing is about these wheels, they are set out in front of the unit. So it's actually moving enough residue so that my disc openers, I don't worry about grabbing any residue and pulling into the row. Uh, it cleans for the disc openers, but it's not going to, and I don't expect it to clean enough pass for my gauge wheels. My gauge wheels are still gonna ride on a little bit of residue. And that's something that I, I'm gonna be able to put up with. I'm gonna have to put up with. If I did a double row cleaner, I would be moving too much residue. Uh, I'm gonna start to get some wind rowing. Every other row is gonna start piling on the other and I'm gonna have great 30 inch beans, but in the middle of that, I'm gonna have beans that are struggling to get up over the residue. Hence the reason we run one single row cleaner. Uh, these row cleaners that you can see, it's actually a swept back tooth. It's not a straight tooth like the Martin or uh, Don even sells, Yetter sells. Uh, the swept back tooth really gives us an advantage to, it's got a stripper on it. So when it's going through the field, if it does pick up a little bit of ryegrass or residue and wants to wrap, uh, the idea is that when it's being swept back, it's gonna let it kind of fall off once it hits that stripper and lets it just shed off. At the back of the bean planter, you'll see that we also run Don Curve Tines. These are the old style Curve Tines. Uh, these are the cast style, same dimension, same uh, blueprints and everything's pretty much the same how they actually work. These are just the cast wheel. Uh, the new wheel, the drop forged and wear is a little bit different, but we're really, these, these wheels that you see have some wear on them, but these wheels also have 7,000 acres on them. Uh, and I've yet to replace a bearing. Uh, I'm sure I'll be replacing a bearing now that I said I haven't replaced one yet. Uh, but these wheels have really done a good job for beans for us. Uh, we also have the half rate down pressure spring on our tailpiece, uh, just like our corn planter. Um, and the rest of this is pretty much a John Deere standard system. We run the John Deere airbags. Uh, we do have the precision uh, air compressor on there, and we do run the uh, precision uh, pins in it. Other than that, just pretty much a standard 1790, other than the row cleaner up front and the actual closing wheels in the back.